Okay, now we're good. <laughs> I was just trying to make sure that I'm getting my, my little recording. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes, okay. Now all done. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> How has this week been? Oh, that's a big question. <laughs> I'm not going into all that. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, yeah, it's been challenging in a number of ways, but because uh, I've decided to stop answering uh, fine when things aren't necessarily fine. So, you know, I, I was talking with my sister about that, you know, or whatever. It doesn't even mean that I need to, like, but I, it's like one of those things where you just stop. Um, yeah, it, it's just better to say, no, it, it wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I it, it really wasn't, but that's okay. Oh, no. We're, we're, we're here now. Yes, that's okay. Uh, you know, I mean, like, it, it, this is life, so. It happens, right? Indeed. Like, not every day is going to be happy. Not, like, if life isn't always going to be good and smooth. Like, there's exactly. stuff along the way. And that's what makes us appreciate the good times even more, right? Indeed. Indeed. And, and this is all, uh, even though it's challenging, it's all... Um, in the end, it's uh, it's good. You know, like it's it's stuff that need it's stuff that needs to be dealt with. So, okay, we'll deal with it. So, anyway, yeah. So today is uh, well, it's nice that we're here and we're gonna do this stuff and and you know have fun. You know, yeah, it's good. Well, it's Friday. It's Friday. You know, this week's been pretty rough, but now you have a couple of days to maybe decompress and you know, like. Just Kind of let everything settle and you know feel the feels. <laughs> feel, feeling the feels, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. I'm. I, I my somatic therapy I did yesterday. That's all about feeling the feels. So, yeah. <laughs> we were feeling the feels, but yeah. You know, it's it's good. It, it it really. It is good to feel the feels, even if they're not pleasant feels rather than not feeling the feels so this is it's okay <laughs> <laughs> well how's your body doing like, how are you feeling you know not that bad like <laughs> it's kind of surprising because <laughs> usually I take it all in, into the body and um no I mean it's pretty normal today you know so okay uh you know I don't have any um this guy doing this shoulder is slowly getting slowly getting better there's still some spaces that are a little a little weird but it, it doesn't like where where it's getting hung up or it keeps getting smaller and like I find myself running into it less so that's okay um, and then yeah I mean it's my normal like can I get evenness through my hips today can I get you know like well, well, my boots want to do the job, okay, you know, but that's normal stuff too for me. So, uh, I don't, I don't have anything to uh, say. Oh, don't, nothing to stay away from, you know. And then, yeah, um, yeah I, oh, I think the like maybe the uh, the the feedback that it was maybe from last time was so that stretching through the. I think we should got we have to go there again. <laughs> so the the the. Uh, the um, what am I? Shall I say? I'm like I'm looking for the English word. <laughs> and the, the vela, you know. So this is the candle. And I'm saying, you know, but it's so funny how that sometimes like like the Sanskrit will come, which is fine, or the or the Spanish will come first, and then you're like, no, this is not the place for you. Go away. <laughs> um, but yeah, that like. Um, that was funny because it really challenged that mobility like through the rest of that day you know like I could really feel like I'm like oh this could even be a problem let's figure out like let's watch this or whatever but it really didn't turn into a problem but it was just kind of aware through the rest of that day and maybe even a little bit in the next day but probably not much because I think that that like that this had been stretched work you know that it felt um challenged but it didn't it didn't become a thing so i'm like oh okay we worked it basically yes, it like right up to the edge but we didn't push it over you know so that good. was it was good yeah yeah i mean
was just finally, <laughs> like, 10 minutes ago, I was like, oh, let me look at the pictures from last week or whatever. And, and um, yeah, like, the, uh, the hips really did get up pretty high for me, you know, so it really shows something happening there that was really good. So I guess I wanted to mention that and say, yeah, let's, uh, you know, let's keep working on that stuff because that... Yeah. That's going to free a lot of interesting stuff up, you know, so it's cool. Yeah. Just make sure that as you kind of stretch a little bit more and as your hips go higher, don't like clutch the shoulders. Mm -hmm. right? You want to kind of pull them down in a way yeah. and like kind of just um, play a little bit. Like don't move too, too much. But what I do sometimes is I'll, um, I bring my chin towards the chest and then that'll give you all of that area right here to like your um, your neck and yeah. into like your shoulders. Um, to get a little more to the, to the platform. A little, you know, yeah. like kind of just play with that movement. But again, not too much, right? Right, right. Because you're in a vulnerable place. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, and like another thing I learned too, it's like this is so random. Um, but I don't know if it's something that you do or if it's something that you are interested in. But like, you know, like those, like those, the, the, the massaging machines that mm -hmm. like, like the little bare body and stuff yeah. like that that people use. So Chris is saying like, um, yeah, like you're not supposed to use it anywhere kind of like on the side or the front of your neck. You can kind mm. of get away with it like right behind your neck. Yeah. But all of this area is actually a big no-no because it's a very sensitive area. Sure. And sometimes the machines are a little bit too rough. So mm. sharing the knowledge if you do. Um, Thanks. No, you know, I don't. Kind of I don't, but we have some, like I think there's at least one of those things in my house for, <laughs> for other people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I haven't. I don't really normally do that, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. Actually, so I've never ever, used it yet. So, <laughs> to yeah. Be... Like, if you feel the soreness, and if you ever want to like um, try it out, like use it just kind of here in the back of your neck and down into your shoulders, like here. Mm -hmm. But don't go any like further up close, okay? So, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll use like a like a racquetball and and lay oh, down on it in yeah. the, through the back of the neck and through the traps if, if they're really gnarly then i'll try to because that's the like the most pressure that i can myself apply to that area and like say like calm down please you know <laughs> like so um that's that's pretty good but it's also pretty intense you know because like, that's it's pretty it's it's kind of tough stuff a tennis ball might be it won't get you as hard, but it, it, it might be a little, sometimes it might be a little more appropriate, you know? But yeah, racquetball is. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Yeah. Um, so that way you can get in a nice practice. Um, as always, listen to the body. If anything ever feels kind of weird or you're not into it, just let me know and then we can always transition out, okay? Sounds great. Getting in nice and tall, spine nice and comfortable. Keep your eyes closed. Relax all the muscles in your face. Just take a few breaths here. Let your mind settle. Let your body settle. Really open, expand the lungs. Imagining all the best, the brand new positive energy is all around you, John. Just take it like the ribbon. Circulate it through your body. Between your toes and your feet. Letting go through the lips. Breathe out anything that does not serve you today. Let it go. Try to fuel up our muscles. We'll take one more, okay? Nice big deep in, chest is high, shoulders nice and wide. Exhale, chin towards the chest, getting a nice stretch behind the neck here. Once you're ready, you can start to shift the head really side to side. On the next inhale, chin and look all the way up to the right. Exhale, center, inhale. Exhale, center, inhale, right, breathe in, let the breath go, take a deep breath in, exhale, center, inhale, left, breathe out there, exhale, breathe in, one more round, exhale, center, inhale, right, so you can stretch just a little bit, just use the lips to protect 
guys are careful to the head, but I need to make sure you don't want to be keeping your hip up straight if they're going to be calm. Do you maybe want to massage on the open there to me? Yeah, no worries. The sun came out. Oh, nice. It's good. I've been waiting. Yeah, we've been having like really random thunder and rainstorms here. I don't know what's going on. Are you guys experiencing the same? No, it's just been gloomy. That's all. Oh, okay. So, uh, we look by the left, left elbow on top, right elbow bend, chest is low, navel in, particular spine. We're staying at the top of the chest. Tricep. Thank you. 
straight back to us and pour his name behind you.
come back. I miss it. You are now be the whole of the body, the front body. Check in with the elbows. Arms stay active. Arms slowly close. If you need anything that's helping out, It's so hard on my toes. I'm <laughs> oh, we don't stretch that much. I think I stepped too far. <laughs> That's okay. It changes everything, though. It is good. I didn't move them yet. Uh, maybe just that much. Even that much will probably make a difference. <sighs> That's more where I was the first time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not a batteries yet, okay? <laughs> Whew, okay. I'm probably supposed to go back to that. Thank you. 
feeling good that's a i got serious on the toes there though <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good because i i it was something that i we had kind of touched upon a couple of lessons ago yeah. where uh it was kind of like stuff you can do to show in the feet that's going to help you a little bit later on it, it is yeah. like so totally worth it but yeah so stick to the front stick to the front give yourself room in the front behind you okay we're going to go all the way back to the shoulders of your chin into the chest so you can really kind of maximize that space behind the neck. Once the shoulders are down, okay, your legs up high, and then kick your legs over your um, head and then pull the heel a little bit closer towards the tip of your shoulder. So you can really feel the height of it. In. And then just bring your toes back up to the sky. Reach out your shoulders down, adjust the knee if you need to, adjust your shoulders. 
Toes are heavy, move you towards the mat, left leg towards you, you can slide your hand behind your leg, the knee stays up straight as you can keep it, just kind of guide the leg towards the ground. You can try to guide your right knee towards the
feet were where I could, I just ended up using the wall to, to uh -huh. you know, and then it's like, oh, <laughs> it's so much, but yeah, it's good, <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, and, I saw, I saw you kind of like playing there where you started to walk, and I was like, yeah, yeah, keep going, like, and then as long as you can keep the lift, uh, not the, the hips lifted, yeah. as long as you remember to keep that in, cool your abs in, and use all of those muscles to help kind of like lift up. Yeah, it, it feels like, um, so that can get you deeper. And then while I was there, I was like, oh, but I'm pushing on the wall. Let me see if I can't remove that effort now that I'm already here, you know, and, and stop pushing, but I'll just more let them just kind of be, right, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and then that, that brings another little bit again, you know, so it's like, Oh, there's even more there if you just stop pushing. <laughs> so, yeah. No, it's good. It's really good. I mean, like it, it's it's definitely working into areas that I, I don't think I've ever been in before. So it's it's really good stuff. <laughs> now we'll get you rolling within like a couple of weeks. I mean, I'm kind of um, I think we're probably gonna see more practices. So if we can start to like move a little bit away from the wall, yeah. That way you can just kind of let yourself fall. And, and use then it. I think once you're able to kind of get your knees down and there's room behind you for your feet, you can start to push a little bit more and then we can roll all the way. So we'll, we'll get there. Ooh, rolling all the way. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> now we're going to strengthen, okay? Okay. Heels behind you. Knees hip width distance, mm. maybe a little bit more open if you need them to be. Okay. Find that space for the wheel behind you, that distance. Hands on your thighs, or maybe in front of your chest if you want. And we're just going to lean back, tap the wheel with your glutes, and then we're going to lift back up. Where am I going to?
moving the arms up and forward. We're going to come all the way up. I was just ready to celebrate. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Bring your arms behind you if you need the support, okay? Let yourself kind of drop into the knee. And then when you're ready to come up, pass your knee to your little body. You get to shift your arms up and forward. Yeah. 
that I did it before. I did it a little bit before you asked for it, and then I had gone back, and then I didn't have much more left. But I did, I did, I, I did play with trying to put them. I'll show you later or whatever. But to try to get them um, to that plaque, since we had played with it last time, and I and I looked at my video of it like right before this, and I was like, oh, okay, let's see how. We'll see how much further they are. I think they they were better today than last time, even for the same, you know, trying to get them to the bat. So, okay. Oh. okay. Exactly. Well, the way that I was doing it, mm -hmm. um, was I would, I would have my, uh, the side of the forearm pad, and then I would crawl the hand and use that to get as, like, far as close to my yep. feet and my heels as I can. Mm -hmm. And then once I was there, it'd be like a slow shift over. Yeah. Definitely something happens in the shoulders between here and here, you know, like, and that's where it gets a little challenging, but fine, you know, that's what we're here for. So, how, how does that feel? Did you get your elbows down? The elbows look really low. Yeah, I think they, I mean, they were, yeah, everything felt like pretty connected today. I will see whether that maybe, you're, you know, you can get your full whole forearm, but did, did I get all the way to the elbow? I mean, you know, like. We'll look at the picture but it's it's really really far down today you know so um that was good and i really was like i don't think i can possibly lift up out of here at this point but yeah, it, it went good. it was good like you could really see it just being one smooth motion so it was like all the engagement when you needed it to kind of um power up they were all there mm -hmm. and <laughs> I don't know if I have another one in me, but uh, okay. Probably not another lift out. Maybe another cop phone though. Okay. <laughs> we can try. We'll see what happens. <sighs> I mean, you didn't think you were going to come up that first time, so. You know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But it's a lot. <laughs> okay. really far. Yeah, I gotta go up. Bring your two big toes together and then just shift your hips back to your child's pose. 
same thing okay. with, with coming out like where um, you can come out and use your glutes and everything and, and really kind of pull forward the way that you want to or you can end up cheating and using hip flexors or like you know bending a little okay. and the okay. second one was a little more like that and I was like yeah you're tired there you go you know but that's okay <laughs> it just you know I mean like I made it out right you know and so you know it's yeah. it's just like uh, I could tell that, like, you know, we were, uh, we were, I was done then. <laughs> That's okay, though. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, yeah, like, you surprise yourself a little bit, right? You know, so uh, allow, allow some space to uh, be like, oh, yeah, you know, we made it up. <laughs> it's good. Uh, so. I think sometimes when you don't think you're able to do something, even if you feel like you're cheating, but you still kind of do it, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier, like, after you do it, like, the next time. Or the next Mentally, time, it will be easier, time. yeah. 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 stuff is super deep I can you know like that was awesome so we're gonna that, yeah. that feels like honestly like it's been a while since we've had something where I'm like um, where something progresses pretty quickly you know like because mm -hmm. you know like in the beginning there were a lot of things that, that progressed pretty quickly you know like a long it's been two years or two and a half years or what I mean like 
we had we had the second wheel anniversary plus now maybe six yeah. months or whatever. It's six months because it's in December, and so it's been a while since something like moved quickly and adapted in our practice. You know, a lot of things are just taking time right now because they're harder stuff or you know they're the area that I need work in. But but that one feels like we're making pretty good progress pretty fast. Where I was like, hmm. Okay, that's kind of nice. Maybe we'll, you know, we'll we'll get something yeah. uh, something big without too much uh, like too much struggling. You know, I don't think it's going to take a year, like right, you know, to get to get more of that mobility out of there. It's it feels like we're talking. Okay, I was going to say months, but maybe even weeks will make a big difference, right? You know, like in that one, mm -hmm. it's kind of strange, but I'm totally happy with that. So that's good. Yeah. I know what you're talking about because, like, I think you're experiencing what I experienced when I got into the wheel practice, where it was just like I'm just kind of hitting these big kind of like check marks. It's like, oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do this. You know. And then at some point, it's like you're making progress, but it's like what you said, right? It doesn't Slower. feel like the progress is as big as it was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like I think that's what the advanced practice in, in yeah. yoga really is, right? Like you kind of just start to move, like. Like it's like from here, and then like you move all the way to here, and then it starts to hit. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you look back, and you're like, oh wait, actually, you know, there actually has been a lot of movement. Yeah. You just don't quite feel it because you're already technically into the advanced practice, mm -hmm. and you don't feel like you're in the advanced practice. You know, so it's it's fun to me. To it's fun to me to find a part of flexibility that um, is untapped, but also like ready to go right you know like it's ready to be tapped and and be more like that early growth you know like where like ah i can make a lot of progress in this area now you know so yeah. that that's cool to get one of those again where you're all of a sudden like oh yeah like we're gonna we're gonna nail this thing pretty quick you know <laughs> so yeah. that's nice i'm very excited i'm very very excited to see if we yeah. can take it the next couple of weeks and we can get you to Roll, like in your, uh, class. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to maybe. Uh, actually, I probably will. I was gonna. So um, yeah, there's a like that weekend I'm going my yoga retreat or whatever, and the week after, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to get out and do some of my normal practices that I would I would do in the studio. Maybe I'll come and I'll keep in mind to try to come on Tuesday. Um, because it's a lot easier for me to grab an hour and never leave here, so I I might be yeah. able to, I might be able to do that. Let me let me go yeah. ahead and come if you want to do the Tuesday because I've been working this Tuesday. Oh yeah. You could make um, an hour after at um I could do I used to actually yeah no I I get out of work at four which would be, would be one but if you give me like a couple of minutes to get home it'd be like right around the one o'clock time for you. Okay, so we might want a different time if we do it, but that's okay. You know, let's we'll see. Yeah. Right now, I really don't know what that looks like entirely, but I'm just kind of keeping it in mind. Like, oh wait, I have another option if if you're around, you know. So um, that's good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let me know ahead of time. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Well, All thank right. you. Well, enjoy your weekend. Um, I hope you get some good time to decompress and mm -hmm. uh, things start to get a little bit better towards the end of the week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> awesome. I hope you have a great weekend. Any, any big plans? Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, we don't have any plans. I think it's just uh, trying to enjoy this weather that keeps flip flopping on us. You know, like it really just changes. Like it, it'll go from really bright like this, and yeah. then I'll go and like take a shower in the middle of my shower. Sandy starts barking and going crazy, and I'm like, "What is she doing? She's like acting like it's like raining outside." And then I come out, and, and it's I'm like, raining. "Oh, it is raining outside." <laughs> so it's like literally it's been like a 15, 20 minute difference. It's just like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Good. Well, thank you so much, Julie. It was that was really good. I I enjoyed it. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> okay.